Oh hey YouTube, what's up? This is We All Juggle Knives on another Multi-Tool Monday. And today I have for you a budget multi-tool that actually does not suck. This is a multi-tool by Coast, yes. And it was not a complete surprise. A couple of my subscribers actually uh, turned me on to this multi-tool. I knew it existed, I just, I just didn't know it was good. You know, I saw pictures of it. I couldn't really tell. A few of my subscribers that actually owned one told me that it was quite good and they were correct. And here's a size comparison for you. From the left we have the Leatherman Sidekick, Leatherman Wave, the Coast Multi-Tool, the Victorinox Spirit X, and the Victorinox Work Champ. Now according to my measurement the Coast Multi-Tool is about 3.8 inches. One thing you want to note is the difference in thickness. The Coast tool is a lot thicker right, than this Victorinox tool, and it is a lot thicker than the Sidekick as well. The only thing it is not thicker than is the Work Champ from Victorinox. So here are the pliers. They are the typical multi-tool pliers right, with the wire cutters, and they are spring-loaded. One thing to note is that the tools are actually accessible without having to unfold the handles. Hey, that's a good idea. You know, finally some budget tools are, you know, getting up with the, uh, the right way to design a multi-tool. You don't have to unfold everything to get to your screwdriver. Now the four main tools are the scissors, the wood saw, a file, and the knife blade. Okay, but the file and the knife blade have been shortened in order to accommodate this, which is a nice little LED light. Now normally any type of LED that they cram into like a knife handle or something, normally that's not good. But they've actually done this well. Uh, for one thing, the side switch, it's basically the perfect balance of sensitive enough that it comes on when you want it to, but if you hit something against it, it's not going to accidentally activate. Also, it has this battery door that it's not going to come open accidentally, but all you have to do is just pry it open with something and you can replace, you can replace the batteries like that. So they've really done this, they've really done this very well. Now this multi-tool comes in this pouch. It's a very uh, solid pouch. Right there is the strap there. Velcro. And you might be wondering if the pouch, if putting it in the pouch makes the light turn on. Uh, no, it doesn't. It requires more force than that uh, to actually turn the light on. So yeah, it's a pretty solid pouch. Now the shorter tools include a bottle opener, a can opener, and many, many screwdrivers, okay? A flathead, larger flathead, another flathead, an even larger flathead, and a dedicated Phillips. And lastly, they give you an awl. Yes, they did not leave off the awl uh, like the Leatherman Wave or a lot of others do. I have to say, this is actually a surprisingly complete tool set. They really have not left off any major tool except maybe uh, a serrated blade. But other than that, this is one of the most complete tool sets that I've found on a multi-tool. You know, and there are a few trade-offs. Like I said, the blade and the file have been shortened, right? And they've had to make, make this really thick just to fit like the, the complete tool set. They've had to make it thick. The scissors work really well. Yeah, the scissors are total beasts. Just the length and the reach of them. Okay, testing out the edge on this. It gets hung up a little. You know, it has a little trouble starting the cut, and then it does pretty well, and gets hung up every once in a while. Alright, yeah, it's about a C plus. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a total fail. Could be a little better, though. So, final conclusions on this. 
Basically, the only drawbacks are that the blade isn't that sharp and it's extremely thick, so it's not the easiest thing to carry. But the good points are many. The tool set, very complete. The way they've integrated that light actually works. It actually makes sense. And the tool feels extremely solid. I mean, it should. I mean, it's so thick. The thing is overbuilt. I mean, it kind of feels like a Russian tank, but better too strong than too weak. You know what I mean? This thing is definitely worth the $25. I mean, this would make a great gift or just a great budget multi-tool. I'm a little bit shocked, but I have to say thank you to uh, the subscribers that turned me on to this multi-tool. They were correct. It's a good budget multi-tool. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.